I don't know if y'all can see back behind me or not. It's six o'clock in the morning, Sunday morning. And I'm delivering about 800 pounds of supplies right now to a, uh, to a worship center at the base of the mountain. And then I've got to go pick up uh, 600 pastries <laughs> at the bakery. And then I got to get back home and get dressed, get Lynn, get the family. And then we're going to go, Lynn and I are going to give the message at church today. So, and we got a busy day. God is good, y'all. I asked for this and I got it. This thing will get shot and I had to come outside where I can I can hear myself. Hey everybody. It's a Sunday afternoon here in the Philippines. And uh, oh, thank you, thank you. And uh, Lynn and I just finished uh, giving today's message. And of course it's always on love. And uh, now we're giving away, they're giving away the care packs. Today's care packs has noodles, sardines, um, uh, soap, toothpaste, we have pastries, we have chocolates. Uh, there's enough food in, in these care packs for uh, 10 meals each, plus I believe we've uh, fed about 500 people today. Uh, absolutely amazing, y'all. <laughs> this is such a, I'm so blessed to live in one of the most beautiful places in the world, albeit pretty deadly and dangerous, but to be able to live in this kind of scenery all the time and to um, get to share the message of God's love with people, you know, it's just, this is, this is not an honor that I take lightly. This is, uh, if, if you have experienced God's love, that's what the word beloved means, those who've experienced. It's a supernatural encounter with God. When you've experienced his love, that means you've become a witness of him and, and and you you are a true true witness you're not a false witness okay you're not just going by what somebody's told you or what you studied in bible college you are a true witness you have experienced it you have witnessed it firsthand and to have that honor that that the, the it's not a burden that's heavy, but just that know that you have that honor because you personally know the creator of everything that exists, that is seen and unseen. Oh, man, it's almost too much to take. It's just so amazing to know that, that I've been given this honor and, and I'm not going to uh, let this grace that works so hard within me be put to shame. I'm going to share this love because he's given us a new heart, a new mind, all right? It's written in Ezekiel, he says, I'll give them one heart. That means we all share the same heart. We have the mind of Christ, and Christ was a servant. He is a servant. He continues to serve 
through us because it is no longer us who live, but Christ who now lives within us. And to have that honor, to be a true witness, and to come and share with little guys like this and people who are so happy, that are so loving, that's, man, that is a, uh, and God always provides everything we need so that I can focus 100% on that one thing, and that is sharing God's love with people. And He always keeps my storehouses full. He gives me everything I need, blesses me all the time, so we can have enough to feed and clothe and provide medicines and stuff like that for all these guys. This is not a business. This is a, a life. This is a passion. And uh, it can only come from God and after experiencing His love. And um, it's such an honor. I want to thank all of you out there that, that pray for us, that share our videos, and who donate to Future Love Ministries. We thank you so much for because without you guys, who have the same heart that give and help us do this. If it wasn't for you, we couldn't do what we're doing. We're boots on the ground over here, but all of you are future love, all right? God is love, and if God is alive within us, then love is alive within us all. Thank you, guys. I, I ask that as you are blessed, please continue to bless us so that we can help more and more of these people who are in desperate need. I love you all. God bless.